Griffin, thanks a lot. Tonight, the Black Warrior Riverkeeper investigating a massive fish kill at Valley Creek in West Birmingham. The Riverkeeper found dead fish, also trash throughout the river. CBS 42 News reporter Jake Chapman live at Valley Creek this evening. And Jake, tell us about this investigation. Well, Art, the DCNR is also helping the Black Warrior Riverkeeper in this investigation. It's not just the thousands of fish that's alarming, it's the smell out here. If you're right here at Valley Creek in West Birmingham, it is a potent and horrible smell. If you take a look at your screen right now, you can see the video that the warrior or the riverkeeper Nelson Brooks shared with us. He says a local business owner by the creek told him he noticed the smell on Tuesday. Brooks says he discovered multiple dead catfish and minnows and claims fish were still dying in the water. He says right now he believes the city's stormwater system is the culprit, but he's waiting for his water samples he collected to determine the cause. He says this isn't the first fish kill he's seen at the creek, but it's never been like this before, and he says it could take a long time for the water and the wildlife to fully recover. There's typically thousands of fish swimming around, turtles, birds feeding, and there were no fish visible swimming around, nothing. It was just water. It's a, one, just it stinks. It's terrible to smell, but it's really sad to see, you know, just everything get wiped out like that. Now, Brooke has been talking to the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources about the investigation, as well as the Alabama Department of Environmental Management. The next step is talking to the city if the stormwater system is the main cause. And one thing Brooke wants to urge to people, if they see something like this, they notice the smell, or they see a lot of dead wildlife in the creek, never be afraid to reach out to them. We have their contact information inside CBS42.com. Reporting at Valley Creek, Jake Chapman, CBS42 News. Local coverage you can count on.